Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 10 before going ahead with part 11. Let us look at hydraulic brakes. Now let us look at what are hydraulic brakes. So even hydraulic brakes makes use of a fluid and the Pascal's law of fluid pressure. Hydraulic brakes are nothing but it, it, you think it in this way that when you drive a car, you suddenly apply brakes, the car stops, right? So the same brakes using a mechanism of fluid, which is not generally used everywhere, but we will take the example of your car. Let us suppose you are driving a car, you've applied brake and the car stopped. So basically what happened, what did you do to stop the car? You did nothing. Let us suppose if this is your foot and this is the brake. This is your foot and this is the brake pedal. Right? So what you did, you basically applied a force here. Right? This is what you do inside the car. So you applied a force on this pedal and the car stopped. Now what was the mechanism even inside this? This is a rough diagram which shows the mechanism. Just have a very clear look. What happened? Imagine this side, the smaller cross-sectional area side, this side shows this side represents the brake pedal where you are applying the brake. I mean this thing. This brake pedal where you are applying a force is nothing but this smaller cross-sectional area end of the piston. So here you are applying a smaller force. Now there is a fluid which connects this There is a fluid setup which connects this brake pedal to all the four wheels of the car. So here for just for its, the sake of explanation, I have just shown it, shown only one wheel. But basically all the four wheels are connected to this brake pedal. And what is the medium? The medium is nothing but a fluid which is generally the brake oil. Right. So what happens is when you apply a, see if you see this. Initially the wheel is moving. As soon as you apply a force here, that is you apply a force on the pedal, the a pressure is exerted here on the fluid and the same pressure gives rise to a force on the larger cross-sectional area end, which is connected to the wheel. So because of that force, when that force is exerted on the wheel, the wheel stops. Now this setup and the brake pedal is connected to all the four wheels. Now as soon as all the four wheels stops, the car stops. So that is how it works. So here also the same thing happens. Here you apply a smaller force F1 on a smaller cross-section area say A1. So a pressure is exerted say P. So the same pressure reaches here and let us say this cross-sectional area is A2. So what is the force that is developed here? The force F2 that is developed here is nothing but pressure P into A2. And what is pressure P? It is nothing but F1 by A1 into A2. So that means your input is again magnified by A2 by A1 times. So if you, if you have understood the concept of hydraulic lift, you would find it very similar and just analogous to what we have studied there. Right? So there are numerous applications where such small, small laws play a very important role. So here we observe that the pressure which we applied on the pedal or the force which we applied on the pedal which resulted in a pressure was transmitted equally to all the four wheels through the brake oil. Right? Okay. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, 
study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.